few little tips, super important tips. If you're doing the overhead drop from uh, the snatch, so the full drop, then the main thing is to stay in extension here, really firm. Wait for that bell to get to a point where you have control over it. If, and I have that mistake of that problem too sometimes, my left side especially, it seems to not work like the right side. On my right side, I stay really firm and I wait and I get control over the weight and then I follow along here. But with the other arm, it takes a while to get that in, in sync. So make sure that you work on those things. So I really focus on that. I'm not focusing on the reps. Yes, I want to get out as many uh, reps as possible, but quality reps. So take my time and then I'm ready. I let it drop and bang, I wait and wait and wait and I got the grip, yay. And then I wait till it's here and then I hinge. Super important, that one. Common mistakes. Snatch. A common mistake with the snatch is letting it come over and flop down on the forearm and holding it too tight. So if I'm holding this handle too tight, we get the banging at the top. Same thing going down, flipping it over and following it. <sighs> Puts a lot of load on the back. There's a jerk happening as well. So it could um, affect the tendons or even the shoulder and lower back. So here's what needs to happen. Generate enough power so that weight goes up. It enters its ballistic flight, which means the weight is powered by your movement. It keeps going if you let go. That's the ballistic aspect of the snatch. So it goes up, you can let go, and it would just keep going. Here, you open up your hand, you catch the weight, and you insert so that the bell comes around. So here's the difference, holding on tight to the handle and not inserting your hand. Here's the insert. This is what happens right here. So weight comes up, bang, I insert the hand. Here's the difference, holding on tight and it flops over. That's what you want to avoid.